Well, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is going to be take two of the Ruger SR-22 handgun. Now, when this thing first came out, I did a video. I sat there and talked about it. You know, talked about how, you know, it was so much like the Walther, but it was a Walther improved. Now, why is that? Well, number one, it comes with two magazines, and it comes with this little thing of a bob right there, and that's why. I really like the fact that it comes with a couple magazines, and this one is the threaded barrel version. So, you just take that little cover off there, and all it is is a thread protector, unlike on the Walther where that nut will actually holds the barrel and the sleeve together. Uh, this one is not made that way. Of course, the gun's clear. That's obvious. How we take it down is it has a takedown lever right there. You just flip that to the side. In the beginning, some of those levers broke uh, and cracked. And, you know... Ruger probably went back and made them out of different polymer. This seems to be a different polymer. Um, it's got a different type of finish, this, that, or the other, than the one I originally had. But what they were having was it was actually breaking here because of the moment that was created by the cycle slide, by the, by the slide of the cycle. Every time it comes back, it hits that, and that's the stop for the slide. Now, with it down, magazines out, uh, I'm going to put it on that there fire mode and uh, slide the slide back, take it apart. There we go. We have our lower receiver. We have our upper. Uh, of course, the machining on this is quite a bit better than the Walther. Um, the finish is also better. I really like the sights um, on this particular weapon. Um, and more importantly, I like the spacing right there. Uh, it seems like I have a little bit more accuracy than I do out of the Walther. Of course, it does not have a captured uh, guide rod or recoil spring. And uh, has a metallic guide rod. Now, where I was saying that the this is just an actual thread protector, where on the Walther, the actual barrel sits in a housing and is screwed together right there. This one doesn't have that joint. Does it make that much of a difference? Probably not. But I'll take it if I can get it. Um, I have not polished the feed ramps on this. If anyone saw the previous video that was uploaded, they know this gun has been fired. Uh, I'm going to leave it to your imagination. If you haven't seen the video, it will be fired here in a second. Um, of course, I like the, the that you can change the size of the grip. Am I going to change it? No, uh, but I have that option as to go with a little bit smaller um, back. It doesn't have as much of a hump on it. I'm going to leave that on it. Um, it has ambidextrous magazine release like that. Um, you know, what can I say? It's a Ruger, uh, and they had a very uh, good weapon to duplicate and improve and they improved the hell out of it but as i said the one thing that i had a problem with was that that sleeve right there the fact that the, it didn't exist on the other gun simply put our guide rod back in <coughs> put it in there like that pull it back push down goes forward we can of course take our takedown lever Put it on safety. Safety decocks the weapon. Um, you know, da 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 da. Of course, lock the slide back. Take out your wrench, and you remove the actual thread protector. Put on the thread uh, threaded barrel or the thread adapter. Um, this is half by twenty eight. You've got a lot of different options as far as what kind of suppressors you can use. Um, 
in the other video, I called it a tactical solutions. It's a tactical innovations. Now let's pull that tactical innovations off the other gun that I've got it on. Uh, very easy to do. And put it on, on this one. And there we go. Of course, this is a tactical innovations uh, TAC 65 suppressor. It is an aluminum uh, suppressor, and this one has been modified uh, by my uh, Class 3 dealer in order it has a sleeve on the inside of it to where uh, I can easily take it apart. Um, and it's made out of a micro fine, almost razor thin piece of stainless steel uh, that's out of basically the aerospace industry and, uh, and makes this one a little bit more uh, user friendly for me because I don't always clean things exactly you know when I need to um, of course uh, in the other video I, I mentioned and I'm doing this one also that I really uh, like the actual magazine in this weapon better than I do the construction on the Walther that's one of the problems I've had not only with the Walther but a lot of the other German sports guns that are actually uh, manufactured in Germany of course, they're German sports guns, uh, but I just like this setup. I like the fact that it's got a, a really good uh, little plastic thumb uh, stud right there uh, for you to actually load it with. It's almost comfortable. Uh, magazine, of course, fits in there very good. And uh, I'm going to clear all this junk out of the way. But, so we have a weapon uh, that is, you know, got bullets in it. This gun is very easy to cycle for women and children. Um, of course, we let the slide go. Do not let it ride forward. The gun, because it's on safety, the hammer drops. We take it off safety. Of course, this is a double action, single action pistol. We acquire target. And let me get on camera here. Fire gun cycles and of course we can put it uh, back on safety and my little bitty hand unfortunately wouldn't you know it the second shot the damn gun we're jamming up well so what we basically do is clear the weapon da 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 as I said, these are Thunderbolts. If I didn't say it in this video, they're not exactly the best, the best one. Not the best ammo in the world. Um, this gun is very, very new, and we are going to cycle it. Now, put it on safety. I just didn't, I got them there womanly hands, man. Uh, I just didn't pull down on it. As I said, it's a new gun. It's just, it's, every gun takes some breaking in. Eject the cartridge. Make sure it's clear visually. Um, it's on safety, and you're good to go. Nothing in the magazine. So, anyway, this is the weapon they should have made in the first place. It's kind of like the Ruger 1022. Uh, the Ruger 1022 takedown, I bashed it when it first came out when I got mine did the review on it said it should have had a 16 inch barrel and been able to be threaded like the tactical the 1022 tactical and I kind of use that term loosely kind of the way they did um, but this gun should have been threaded also this is guns knives and watches and if anyone wonders uh, I wear rec specs uh, these are rec spec bikers I've covered this in the uh, previous channel, and of course these are also prescription industrial safety glasses. Um, but anyway, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches with the Ruger SR-22, the way it should have been made, and unfortunately was not. Um, but, you know, that's the way the world works. You don't always get what you want the first go around. My recommendation to you is 
for you to wait a little bit of time when a gun comes out to actually get the second uh, second generation or the second year. The first time when you come out with a, with a system like this, you know, there's going to be some possible problems or some errors. I got it because it was my job. If anybody wonders what I was shooting into, uh, I was actually shooting into a piece of Kevlar. Uh, I covered this on the other one also. But it's uh, just a bulletproof vest insert. Uh, this one is from, you can see where the bullets went in. This one's from Second Chance. It was from back in the day where we used to wear that big, hard, heavy armor. Uh, and this was the backer for it. Um, of course, it's, it's seen better days, and so has my target. That's a 22 target that I got from Midway uh, from some promotion or something. Da 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 da. And, uh, and as you can tell, I've had it a long time. Shot a lot of things at it, and it, I haven't exactly shot 22s at it. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've shot 45s into it. I've shot uh, just anything that I possibly could into it. 5.7 millimeters, uh, just whatever. And it's handled it all, except for when I miss. Uh, and unfortunately, those are my fault. Um, but. I was shooting at it at a long range in my backyard and uh, just wasn't paying attention, didn't have the sights zeroed. Don't do that. Anyway, this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and I hope this one's better. And uh, this is the way this gun should have been in the first place. Um, the SR-22 threaded barrel. Um, I really like this gun a lot better uh, just because of that simple feature of the ability to suppress it. Um, I can basically talk to my kids, train my kids, do all of that. Mrs. Guns, Knives, and Watches can shoot it. We can have a good conversation. I can talk to her about what she's doing right, wrong, this, that, or the other. Uh, and as I said, it's easy for her to cycle, and it's easy for everyone to shoot. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches with the SR-22 suppressed. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you can use those sights uh, with the suppressor on there. Have a good one.